Hi, my name is Bill, and this is a very quick video on point filters. Here we have, in paper space, and uh, model space, I should say, um, something very simple. Let's draw a rectangle. We'll do it in 2D first. No, that's not a rectangle. Let's try again. There's a rectangle. And we'll draw a circle here, like so. Suppose that we wanted that circle to be up there and the centre of that wanted to be in line with that. We could just go in for move, pick that, pick that, and I'll right, right, frozen on me. Right click, uh, perpendicular. I'm just going to do it. Try again. Move that one, center of that one, and hold down right click perpendicular to that one there. See how it's going there. Now that's all very fine, but suppose we wanted to move the midpoint of that such that it was on level with that. So I know it's moved that up, so midpoint of that is on level with that. Well, there's nothing nothing to hang on to. You, you'd have to draw a little line in and then move, make it perpendicular to that. Well, if you're going to use 3D, 2D you can get away with anything almost. But in 3D you must learn how to use this. And it's not that hard. It really isn't. See down here we've got Y and an X. So what we do, say for instance we want the midpoint of that to be up the same level as that. You go M for move. Pick the item. There's the midpoint. See now, it's not got ortho on. Now, this is the important thing about using point filters. You've got to have ortho on. Ortho is on. Okay. So we're only interested in the y direction. So you go dot y. Hit enter. Pick the center of that, and then there's the hard part. Pulling it up in the direction you want it to go. And see, it wants to go, and it says, oh, I think I'll land there. So that is precisely located on there. Okay, so if we're looking to 2D, let's draw a little box. And I wanted that circle to be, say, at the midpoint. See, now we've got a Z, Z direction now. So we wanted that circle to be up on the level with the top of that, that there. So we go M for move, pick your item, there's reference. Now it wants to go, just tell it you're only interested in the Z, dot Z, and pick your Z. See how it wants to go up? It's very nicely, no it didn't, I've mucked it out. I'm trying to pan it up, move, that, the dot. Z of that point there. So it wants to go up and it goes to the right place. Or does it? Let's have a look. See, and it's on the same level as that. If I look from the side, from the front, there it is, perfectly in line. And not only that, <coughs> you can do other things with this. Is say for instance I'll move that just down here, plonk it any old where. So say for instance you didn't want it to go say you only had that point there. Let's let's just put a little point way out in space. It's you've got a point way out in space, it's up up from there. But you thought, oh no, well look, I only want to have that circle such that it's on the same level as it is now, but I don't want it to be snapping up to the top of that. Well, that's easy. You go move that reference point dot xy. So you're only interested in the xy of that point there. See how you drag it over and it wants to go. So we go plan, plan view. There it is. It's just directly in that place there. Okay, now, the second thing I want to 
and of course you can use dot y dot z dot x any of those and on your thing on here it's even got them on there so you don't have to type x y or whatever i just find it easier to type <coughs> type those things okay now if we took this drawing and we'll save it as save and I'll just put it on my desktop. Where's my desktop gone? My documents. Desktop. I'll just save it on my desktop as drawing <coughs> drawing one. Okay. So now when I go and open this is going to be showing you how to use the what the base command is all about. So there's drawing one. Oh there's drawing one. Notice that the origin is over here, and if we type the word base, it's also over there. So, and notice that these things are a little bit away from, from that point there. So, when we close him, save and close him, and we're going back into our second drawing now, if I drag this drawing into it from from the from the uh, desktop, I pop it in there. There's a block, right? It's a block, and there's the insert point there. So, a lot of people don't seem to, for some strange reason, which I can only wonder at. They, if they're making a nut and bolt or something like that, they'll put their insert point way over there, and they put all the gubbins, whatever it is way over there. So the whole thing with that is, if I just open up that drawing once again, this drawing here is that if you move that to naught comma naught comma naught, then there it is. And we save that, save, and we go back into that drawing there, get rid of him, purge the drawing, and now, when we insert that drawing again, we'll get this drawing here, close them off, drop that drawing into there. See, now he's now really going to, our crosshairs are right on, on, on his insert point. Now, the other thing about this, of course, is that if we open up that original drawing again, Doesn't want to open it. We're in the command, I guess. Here we go. You can have, you can type base and the base point. You might like to put it, say, 20, no, say 200, comma 200. So, see how that, that hasn't changed, but your base point has. So, if I save that drawing. And I move all of that to 200, comma 200. See, it's, it's a little bit away from the origin. And that doesn't matter because if I save that drawing, close them down, go into this drawing, erase that guy. And purge the drawing of that block. So when I pop that drawing back in there, ah, didn't purge it, did it? Hadn't, hadn't purged the drawing. So if I insert, try the insert command, browse, and go for. Desktop, the damn desktop gone. Here we are, drawing one. In theory, it should, here it is there. If we go, okay. If you want to redefine it, redefine it. Ah. And that's, oh, that's because, of course, the base point still is, is there. Oh, silly boy. So, 
you've moved the, the base point is where it gets inserted. It doesn't care that you've got far away not the drawing. It doesn't care that the, the actual origin of this drawing is over here. So what you can have is on some drawings, especially people that use civil drawings and stuff, that that point can be miles and miles away and cause you all sorts of problems. And also the base point might be miles and miles away. So sometimes you have to take a leap of faith and um, make a base point that's, say, somewhere here, where all the, all the action's happening, and use the limits command. So if I go limits, see it's 0, 0, lower point is that, upper point is that. So that's okay. See, it's in this area. But if your limit, limits are, if your origin is miles away, sometimes your limits will cause you problems. I hope this helps. Thanks very much.